Uh, good day everyone. Uh, in this video, we were going to be talking about the fundamental concepts of Boolean algebra. So, when a variable is used in algebraic formula, it is generally assumed that the variable may take any numerical value. For instance, in the formula 2x plus 5y equals z. So, we assume that x, y, and z may range through the entire field of real numbers. So the variable, but the variable used in Boolean equation have a unique characteristic. So they may assume only one of two possible values in Boolean algebra. So these two values may be represented by the symbols 0 and 1. If an equation describing logical circuitry has several variables, it is still understood that each of the variables can assume only the value of 0 and 1. For instance, in the equation x plus y equals z, each of the variables x, y, and z may have only the values 0 or 1. This concept will become clearer, clearer if another symbol is defined, which is the plus the plus or the logical addition symbol so when the plus symbol is placed between the two variables say x and y since both x and y can take only the role of 0 and 1 we can define this the plus symbol by listing all the possible combination for x and y and the resulting value are 0 plus 0 is equals to 0. 0 plus 1 it is equals to 1. And 1 plus 0 is equals to 1. And 1 plus 1 is equals to 1. This is a logical addition table and could represent a standard binary addition table except for the last entry because 1 plus 1 in binary is 10. So the plus symbol, therefore, does not have the normal meaning, but is a logical addition symbol. The equation x plus y equals z can be read x or y. So this concept may be extend to any number of variables. So for instance, in the equation a plus b plus c plus d equals e. Even if a, b, c, and d all had the value of 1, so they all have a value of 1, the sum of the values, or e, would represent only 1. So, to avoid ambiguity, a number of other symbols have been recommended for replacement for the plus symbol. But, however, the majority of computer people still use the plus sign, which was the symbol originally proposed by Bolt. Uh, a second important operation in Boolean algebra is the operation which we will call the logical multiplication. So the rules for logical multiplication can, again, be given by simply listing all values which might occur. So like 0 times 0 equals 0, 0 times 1 equals 0, 1 times 0 is equals to 0, 1 times 1 is equals to 1. So th thus, for instance, if we write x times y is equals z, and find that x is 0, x is 0, and y is 1, then z will become 0. So only when x and y is both 1, 
would be z would be a 1. Both the plus and the multiplication sign obey a multi mathematical rule called the associative law. So this law says uh, that for for plus that x plus y plus z is equal to x plus y plus z and for the multiplication the x times y times z is equals to the x times y times z what this means is that for instance we can write x plus y plus z without ambiguity for no matter in what order the logical addition is performed the, the result is always the same so adding x to y and then adding z gives the same result as adding y and z and then adding it to x so we can test this both for plus and multiplication by again trying all the combination so like 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equals to 1 plus 1 plus 1 so 1 1 is equals to 1 and this like 1 1 1 is equals to 1 1 1 so 1 is equals to 1 but what if 1 is 0 so if if 1 is equals to 0 then 1 like y is 0 so plus 1 is equals to 1 plus 0 plus 1 1 plus 0 is 1 plus 1 is equals to 1 plus 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 1, then 1 plus 1 is 1. But in this, if y is 0, 1 times 0 times 1 is equals to 1 times 0 times what? 0 times 1 is 0, 0 times 1 is 0. 1 times 0 is 0, and 0 times 1 is 0. So note that while either the addition and the multiplication can be f used freely, the two cannot be mixed with that ambiguity in the absence of further rules. So for instance, thus A times B, parenthesis, plus c equals to, to a times parenthesis b plus c. The two form different values for for instance if we put a 0 in a and 0 in b and then 1 in c 1 in c sorry and same here a is 0 B is 0, then C is 1. Are they equal? So 0 times 0 is 0 plus 1 is equals to 0 plus 1 is 1. 1. 0 plus 1 is 1, and 0 times 1 is 0. So, the two have different values. Other one is equals to 0, and the other one is equals 1. So, operating from left to right will elevate this, and it's used in some programming language, languages, but not usually by algebras or computer designer or maintenance personnel. So, the rule which is used is that it is always performed the the multiplication is always performed before the plus thus x 
times y plus z is x times y plus z and x times y plus x times z means x times y plus x times z so it is like the PEMDAS if you all know the PEMDAS right the PEMDAS PEMDAS parenthesis exponent multiplication division addition and subtraction so it is like that the multiplication is performed before the addition 